Hello and welcome back to Lord Fen Gaming Plays. Never watch tonight's hand edition Infinite Dungeons. I'm your host, Lord Fen. And this part 21 of Nirwin Night Hands Edition Infinite Dungeons. We're still at Lord Anton's Den, level 1 this time. We're going into that evil dungeon and more. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Neverwood Tonight's Hands Edition videos like this. Do not forget hit notification bell to so be updated more. Now, last video, I went solo on some parts, but this time we're going to go ahead and do some more exploring. So let's go inside that door, shall we? That is how you break a zone entrance. That wasn't too hard. And yes, I purposely uh, put the three back there. There's a move or two that could one shot them. I do not want those three dead, especially my uh, little uh, backpack here. Yeah, at least they want to keep the backpack alive. I have a person I want to complete a quest on level two. And another one on level three. You all get the uh, point. Yeah, they're getting some extra gear because I have money now. And plus I want the experience points. At this point in the uh, game, I want to make sure I have plenty of experience points. Man, you're, you're saying, why is that? Well, for you getting these dungeons, it seems more experience, more rewards you get. It's the uh, great risk versus reward thing. The riskier the dungeon, the more reward you get. In some cases, higher experience points. That's why I'm doing it. Let's check this out. Yeah, my uh, lore skill is starting to get hurt, but that's all right. Uh, let's keep on going. Okay, I see some foes up ahead. I'm going to keep the three there. I'm definitely be able to solo it at this uh, point in the uh, video.
Now, that wasn't bad at all. I even soloed that Medusa, uh, also with the risk of being turned to stone. Yeah, uh, be careful about being turned to stone, because if Medusa turns you to stone, that's kind of like free hits on you, so be uh, careful on that. Now, uh, in uh, Baldur's Gate 1 and 2, you get turned to stone in your main character. That's a game over. All right, I want to dispel magic. Uh, these will be very useful, I'm going to say, ever since Wyvern Crown Chromia, really. I, lo I love dispel magic. They're really great. There was an item that was like an eye win, which was a helmet with a dispel magic or a artifact with that. I forgot what it was. It's been a while since playing, but you should definitely play it. Rogue with immunity to mind altering effects. That is really good, everyone. Because, uh, so this way, nothing happened to you. And yeah, this NPC here wants uh, Mertz Whiskey, which is on level 1, 2, and 3. So instead of the uh, other previous two dungeons, which was 1 and 2, now you got a third level. So I'm guessing uh, this next one's going to be 1, 2, and 3. And then, of course, the uh, 5 and 6 will be 4. And the last set will be uh, 5 levels. Uh, when it gets to five levels, I'll try to rush through it. Let me pop up Ultra Vision. And uh, hopefully I can find some good stuff. I'm looking for Dark Vision, but I could take True Seeing. That'll be uh, best for me. And all right, we got the three there. So let me uh, go ahead and get them uh, set up. Okay, you're going to hold all this stuff. Uh, seeking plus one attack. That's not bad, but I rather have immunities and other uh, good stuff in it. Uh, dark Vision, that's all right, but there's better items out there. Weightless Leather. Ah, uh, that's kind of useless. Uh, plus sword, uh, uh... Yeah, I was meant to say short sword plus two. Sorry about that. Dark of uh, Seeking. That's alright. Let's check the bow out. Plus one short bow. We're getting some good stuff here, everyone. To sell. I'll get rid of this one. I don't need it no more. I am kind of hoping I uh, start to find some level four or five spells that are really worth it. I think at this point I'm getting at least up to level three spells. The spell magic is definitely level 3, weightless tower shield. I am curious if a certain person can carry that. Let's uh, keep on looting it up. Uh, I think it's uh, I think the happily might not be able to. I am sure go ahead and try to see. Mel's acid arrow, that's not a bad level 2 uh, spell. Now that was like golden uh, bars gate 2. You're asking why is that Fenton? Well, you see in bars gate 2 if I would have found a wand like that a long time ago. There are certain uh, foes called trolls, so uh, trolls, what they uh, uh, do is uh, they regenerate on health. If you use acid or fire arrows, or acid or fire magic, die, they die instantly. And yeah, because that shield's way too big with the halfling, uh, that's alright. It happens. Yeah, let's get let's uh, get my character there. Switch it up. Okay, I cannot do a multi-inventory, but that's alright. And switch that back. There you go. And besides the... Uh, I think the uh, half angel uh, person has a nice, uh, of course, uh, shield, which is uh, better than the one I have. But for now, let's see if I could clear out any more. It looks like there might be one or two more sections. I am not certain, but still, we'll see. Okay, yeah, one more set of enemies, and that's a dead end. We're going to go ahead and ignore that. As soon as I get to the other side, I'm going to go ahead and definitely wipe every single one of them out. So I will return when they're all dead and definitely gone. Now, that was really fun. Let's grab this. Let's check the club out. Yeah, um, at this point, I decided to go ahead and solo. Uh, eventually, down the line, if I uh, really don't need experience points, I'll probably uh, solo through the entire thing. But it's nice to have party members this way I get extra uh, stuff. Or use them as backpacks. And look at that. We actually did find a uh, shop 
We're not going to go there yet. I want to uh, double check everything, loot everything up before I actually uh, go shopping. There is one stairs. Uh, there's two. Oh, right, right, right. This is uh, good, everyone. We uh, found it. Let's uh, go ahead and do that. Now, let's get everybody together because this dungeon is officially cleared. I should say uh, zone. Yeah, sorry about that. This zone is officially cleared. Uh, you Come here. You're going to open up your backpack, mule. Yeah, it's kind of like Ultima Online where you uh, have a mule character and then you have a, a trusted person. Trade items with the mule and such back and forth. Sometimes you tip the friend or you give them a certain item extra. It was cool, cool back in the day. Let's check that out. All right. Attack bonus versus lawful good. The anti-paladin buff. Let's check that out. Pelvic intelligence plus one intelligence. Pickpocking five. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sell it because I'm not going to need that. If I was like a wizard, yeah, I would definitely got it. Maybe if I could find some uh, immunities, I would put that there. Oh, I'm finding some good recipes, though. I think I found one with Keen on there one time. I'm going to go ahead and save that just in case I need uh, that. Let's uh, go ahead and check that out. Okay, you get that. Oh, yeah, that's the Keen one. I went ahead of myself, but that's a very nice uh, weapon-based crafting uh, recipe. I actually would uh, love that. Let's go ahead and put that with me. Cannot do that. That's all right. Plus one bow. That's all right. Okay. But that recipe is very nice, though, so if I find a better weapon uh, or so, I'll uh, get it. But I'll try to look for a plus uh, four uh, recipe, so that's why I keep on using the same. If not, I'll uh, keen the uh, plus four weapon, just hopefully look for keen and then uh, any other stat. I'm going to go ahead and sell off screen. Uh, there we go. Nothing else is uh, there. Still, I'm going to go ahead and go uh, this door. I'm going to add a map pen, so this way I am not lost. And there we go. I made a save. Always make a save when you're going uh, into a new zone. So this way you don't backtrack much. So let's go in. Inside this uh, area looks like it's an evil zone. Well, not evil, but still. Let's uh, go ahead and explore it. I'm going to leave these three behind for now. Because I think I could handle it by myself at this point. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, clear this area. And yep, yeah, so far, okay, it's just merchants. That's uh, good. Let's uh, clear the other room, shall we? Death to the enemy! I am loving killing these Medusas. It's paybacks for Shadows of Undentine. I want to sleep. Useless. Uh, traps. Useless. Yeah. Oh, actually, uh, very useful if I would have had that nice rogue from the Shadows of Undentine, Hordes of the Underdark. Let's grab this. Let's check this out. Okay. Uh, half plate plus one. That's going to be a lot of money. Let's check this out. The cloak. And uh, damage reduction. Uh, again, some money. Uh, whip. Uh, plus one damage defense. Okay, whatever. Uh, nice katana. Let's check that out. As a plus one, plus two versus undead. Must be a holy katana. Oh, that's a joke. Helmet safety. Uh, useless. Uh, let's see here. I can identify. Hopefully something good. And let's uh, keep on moving on. And, oh, right. Okay, I see the three. Let's bring them with me. So uh, this way, we'll uh, start clearing more of this uh, level out. I'm going to put down C1, so this way I am not lost at all. So uh, let's uh, keep on going in this direction. And uh, there you have it. I think I'm going to go to the merchant real quick first. So this way I uh, unload some stuff, then I'll start clearing the rest of this uh, dungeon. And uh, there, I uh, am done selling, and I did get a new helmet which is much better. So now I have uh, immunity to mind-altering spells on that one, I believe. 
And of course I have immunity, death magic, and much more. I just cleared this uh, part of the dungeon for now, I should say, zone. I have, I believe, is the west part of the uh, dungeon, maybe, yeah, it, no, no, I'm changing that. It is definitely southwest. Still, I am soloing it because I feel like I could do some serious damage. Let's go ahead and bring the three in while I loot everything up before we actually clear the last part. Yeah, this looks like an evil dungeon so far. This character says it's not. Oh, then again, I am evil. Ah, oh, come on. Ooh. Okay, let's see here. Okay, backpack. Open your bag up. And come on. Yeah, party member's a little bit wonky. Let's grab that ring. Uh, ring of safety. Good. That's money in my pocket. Let's check that out. Okay, plus two safety. That's all right. I'll get rid of this too. Now, if I would uh, have my rogue, yeah, I would keep those uh, trap making ingredients like Thunderstones and uh, Holy War. Oh, especially Holy War. Uh, that's like go for a uh, rogue that uses traps and yep, yeah, let me tell you those are fun Let's grab that. Let's grab that too. potion of ultra vision and yeah, the helmet I have also uh, has a uh, dark vision too uh, Immunities I have if I remember correctly uh, was a uh, death level drain uh, freedom of movement and uh, mind altering effects I Think I could still get diseased and poisoned. So somewhere out there. I need an amulet of health or uh, some uh Thing uh, like that. It's a good thing to do. Okay, it's just a dead halfling warrior. All right, main butchered and uh, slaughtered. And there we go. Let's look. Uh, let's grab that too. Let's see if that robe is worth it. Uh, nothing. Okay, we'll uh, leave that alone uh, for now. Let's uh, check uh, this treasure chest. What? Oh, oh yeah. By the way, this uh, module sometimes is wonky on the PC. As you see my character floating, it's one of those things, uh, don't panic as long as you don't freeze up. Any problems, just uh, go ahead and reload the uh, last save. That's why I always sometimes save before entering dungeons, in case it gets wonky or I uh, crash. Happened to me uh, with one of the uh, player made modules before they uh, fixed the uh, lava issue with that. And there, we're uh, done looting. I am going to go ahead and uh, go in the next room by myself. Get everybody set up to stay here and clear out. This should be the last uh, time I do combat in this uh, video at least. So here we go.
this entire zone is cleared. Let me uh, double check. All right, there is, looks like it's uh, one, not one or two entrances. That is uh, good. Uh, in case uh, the next video, uh, one of the other areas is uh, a dud, I'll uh, definitely uh, clear it out. Let's see for a second. And let's uh, grab that. Uh, another one of those shields. That's nice. Tower shields. If I would have had like a pure paladin or uh, something like that, or a more defensive uh, character who uses shields and, of course, a sword, I would love to use those. Let's check the wand out. Dominate person. That's not bad like a charm like spell. Uh, ring. I will identify it at the uh, merchant, of course, as always. And looks like I am almost done. Okay, there's the bridge. Yeah, I'm getting all the stuff I could get now. Uh, my strength is like really up there. I'm going to try to do is hopefully I get to 24, 25 strength before uh, the epics. If I get that, definitely critical hit. That should definitely uh, clear uh, most of these uh, foes out. Okay, quarter staff. Let's check that out. Uh, want a lightning bolt. Okay, that's a level 3 spell. I'll hold on to that in case I am in serious trouble. I need to clear foes out fast or just use that spell to weaken them. Or I say uh, soften them up so I can, this way I can hack them to a million pieces. I'll tell you that. So it looks like that is done. Let's check the uh, checkerboard. Uh, looks like I see more statues. I am not certain what they are, but that's all right. Branded mail plus one immunity. That's not bad. That's good to sell probably. Let's get that. Dark vision. That's great to sell. We'll get that too. Piercing bolt plus one. Let's check this out. Belt, I don't know. Don't care. Uh, AC bonus versus piercing plus two. That's more of a defensive one. That's all right. Okay, let's grab, check that out. Uh, plus one uh, bullet. Check this one. Uh, immunity to fear. Oh, yeah, I also have immunity to uh, fear. Forgot about that. So I have a lot of immunities. I want to keep that because just in case I face bosses with uh, uh, who knows, uh, fears me like crazy. I don't have to worry about that anymore. I don't have to worry about death magic, fear, my altering effects, um, anything else that will paralyze me or stop some uh, movement. I don't get rooted and other uh, goodies. I'm looking for poison and disease and I'm all set. Then of course look for strength items this way I get a lot of it. If I'm Captain Strength, you know, I'll uh, go for dexterity then. Let's grab that. All oh, right, that is a full plate. Oh, I'm getting some stuff. I think I'm gonna give that to my uh, character Pert. She's been all right. Well, I'm gonna keep her in the back until uh, her quest is done and I get the reward. She could get out of here. And yeah, I'm still looking for the item on level 2. When I get to level 2 at some point in the series, then all I'll uh, do is go downstairs. You come here, and you come over here. Looks like I'm all set and uh, done. I'm going to go ahead and do some uh, shopping. Since this level's done, I clear everything out. And uh, my uh, other character, Pert's going to have a new uh, piece of armor. Well, actually, armor I think is about the same, but still, I like to keep the full plate there. And there, it looks like I'm all set and done. I'm going to go to the uh, south entrance. That's where I'm going to end the video exactly. Now, I have two ways to go, north and south. I'm going clockwise, so it is uh, time to recap once I get everything set up. And here's the recap. I cleared the Iron Dark Dungeon, got some loot, sell some loot. That was all good. Went in this uh, evil, in quotations, dungeon. Cleared that out too. Sold some loot there. In the next Neverwinter Enhanced Edition uh, Infinite Dungeons video, we're going to go ahead and see what's behind this smoking door. This is it from my Neverwinter Tonight's Enhanced Edition Infinite Dungeons Part 21, Lord Anton's Den, that evil dungeon video. This is Lord Fent signing off. Thanks for watching and have a great day or night and do please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more Neverwinter Nights or Neverwinter Nights Enhanced Edition builds, walkthroughs, guides, and more videos just like this. If you love what you see, then pick my suggestion on the upper left-hand corner or YouTube suggestion on the bottom left-hand corner. Have a great day or night and do roll a 20.